Hello my dear friend this is Rakesh and welcome to the part 1 video of the ASP.NET Core 2.0 In the current video we will discuss all the features about ASP.NET Core 2.0 and all the journey of the .NET Core 2.0 and all the .NET frameworks right now we are having and uh, there are thousands not the thousand but millions of the developers are there who have developed millions of the application using the .NET framework and uh, this journey start early in the 2000s so i have open ppt let me open that that will make the more understanding so yeah dot net framework journey starts early in the 2000s so first of all version 1.0 was launched in early in the 2000s then 1.1 was launched and then 2.0 was launched uh, in the 2005 and then 3.0 3.5 so this journey keeps uh, with the passage of time we are getting uh, we start getting the new versions with the new features or introduction of the new features so right now we are having the 4.6 and 4.1 so this journey continues with the passage of time and uh, uh, we are having the 4.6 and 4.7 uh, uh, framework uh, right now which is the latest in our pocket and after this journey stops but uh, few uh, two years back uh, a new framework version 5.0 was introduced but uh, there was a lot of controversy uh, on this because uh, a new framework was introduced but that was not uh, exactly based upon this 4.x versions 4.6 4.7 that was not exactly above on this version that was completely rewritten so after a lot of controversy that framework was again renamed from dotnet framework 5.0 to core and core 1.0 version was launched so then after 4.7 the journey of the dotnet framework stops and a new journey of dotnet core ASP.NET Core starts and 1.0 was the first version which was launched and then we got 1.0 so earlier when we have were having the two uh, Visual Studio 2015 2015 2015 Visual Studio in that we were having we would have to install the um, SDK for having this uh, SD.NET Core 1.0 and then similarly for 1.1 again we have to install it in the Visual Studio 2015 but in 2017 we are having the default installation of the Visual Studio uh, ASP.NET Core 2.0 so this journey starts right now we are having the latest version that's a 2.0 and it was released uh, in the second half of 2017 uh, in 2017 second half in uh, August or September this was launched 2.0 was launched in last year so this is defaultly available in the Visual Studio. So if you are using, if you want to go with the ASP.NET Core 2.0 development, install the Visual Studio 2017 on your machine, and you can check my another video. You can find the link in the above above of the video, uh, how to install the Core 2.0, and what are the different options you have to check during the installation. So this was the journey uh, for whole uh, ASP.NET framework and stops at the 4.7 and then ASP.NET Core 2.0 and which is uh, right now we are having 2.0 and this journey is not stopped and later in the coming years we can have 2.1, 2.2 and maybe the 3.0 as well with the new enhancements and new features, new bug fixing etc. Et so whenever we uh, go in with the Visual Studio 2017 and we create the ASP.NET Core 2.0 product project in this then we have uh, the flexibility to develop the project um, and in using the .NET framework uh, using 4.6 or 4.7 this much or we can either select this in these frameworks while working with the core and we can also have the flexibility to use the Microsoft .NET Core libraries 2.0 so we have uh, when in the next coming videos i will show you the wide examples that how we can move with either of these things and what flexibility we have so now the question comes that what's core 2.0 core is a completely rewritten of the asp.net 4.x it's a new version and it contains a lot more new architecture changes and it is a modular framework right so what is Core 2.0? It's a cross-platform, high-performance, open-source framework 
which is used for building modern applications so cross platform so first word is a cross platform earlier we were having stuck with the windows and we were only able to install our product on uh, install or visual studio on the on the windows but right now we can install the visual studio on the mac or the linux and we can run our visual studio application on any of the framework we need not to uh, host it on is but we have the Castle server and using the help of the Castle server, we can install it even, we can host the application even on the Apache server if you're using uh, Linux or Mac operating system, right? So, apart from the Windows, uh, apart from the Windows flexibility, cross platform development, um, it also have the cloud support. And we can also uh, build web application. We can also help um, develop the RESTful services as we were doing the earlier in. Uh, and we can also develop other IoT services. IoT services means Internet of Services. So we can also develop the Internet of Services using this. So apart from this, uh, the new feature is that uh, dependency injection that is inbuilt available in build dependency injection is available in this and um, it uh, in 2017 you can also go with the uh, different angular js and react js client side frameworks and the cloud uh, uh, cloud and uh, support is also available in this and apart from this the biggest thing is biggest things are two one is the cross platform dependency and second is the high performance it is having the high performance because the, it have the light weighted HTTP request pipeline. You have to load only the required thing in the pipeline and you will not load the unnecessary thing uh, while running the, your application with the ASP.NET Core 2.0. So it has a very high performance earlier 1.0 and 1.1 was there but 2.0 have the more 10 to 20 percent uh, speed boost. Uh, speed is boosted up to 10 to 20 percent in 2.0 so 2.0 is the latest version so we will move uh, with the uh, latest version of the video studio uh, and uh, sp.net core 2.0 in uh, my up upcoming videos the next coming video as i will tell you with the uh, help of example that uh, how we can create uh, application using the core 2.0 using the razor pages in sp.net application so friends uh, please motivate me by using the like and subscribe of my channel and uh, if you have any comments then please uh, comments and suggestion then please write down in the comment section i will try my best to update you on those comments and uh, we'll see you in the next video the second video till then take care and bye